It's time for all Essendon supporters to don the sash and make a stand together. Call 1300 Go Bombers or visit membership.essendonfc.com.au today. Thanks very much for coming along tonight. Uh, it is obviously um, a real uh, pleasure and uh, honour for me to be up here addressing the 2016 season launch uh, for the Essendon Football Club. I've been involved in the AFL for 25 years um, since I was an 18-year-old boy and uh, I've loved every minute of, of my time in the game. And a lot of people look at me like you're a sucker for punishment. Um, you've taken on a huge job. Uh, it's going to be tough. Um, good luck. But, you know, I don't see that this year is going to be any less fun than any other year that I've had in the game. Because the game is brilliant. And the game is about the people. Uh, the people that are involved, which starts with our players. Uh, but it goes through to our uh, supporters it goes through to our whole club. Um, it goes to anyone who uh, loves to watch the Essendon Football Club play footy, and that includes some opposition supporters as well, even though they won't admit it. Um, so I love the game, and uh, as I said, the game is about the people you meet. I've been lucky enough to have had a lot of success in the, uh, in the game of AFL football, um, but most of that success uh, really boils down to the people I've met over those 25 odd years, not just being part of three premierships. If it's just about three premierships, it's a very lonely time, three premierships in 25 years. So it has to be about uh, the, the friendships you make, the associations you have. Um, and I'm feeling that tonight, with just the support that you guys have shown me that a lot of you are, are meeting for the first time and uh, your support is genuine and your best wishes for the team and the club uh, and for myself personally uh, have been really authentic and genuine as well and I really appreciate that. So the Essendon Football Club have a huge uh, vision which Lindsay Tanner uh, touched on earlier and I'm really pleased to be part of that. That's a, it's a wonderful vision to have to, to rebuild this club and to stamp ourselves as the most successful and, and inclusive uh, and respected club in, in Australian sport, not just in the AFL. And uh, from the, the day I accepted uh, the job with the football club, I was aware of those values and, and I'm going to work extremely hard uh, in my role to, uh, to help us achieve those. I certainly won't be able to do that without uh, some brilliant people around me. Um, with Brendan Goddard as captain this year, he's, uh, he's been brilliant you know, since not only when he took over the captaincy, but uh, when I walked in the club, his attitude to excellence and uh, to elite standards is really in line with what I believe, and he's going to be a wonderful uh, captain and support of what we're trying to achieve this year. Um, really strongly supported by Mark Bagley, who, uh, again, um, was really pleased and maybe a little bit surprised when he was uh, elected into our leadership group this year. Uh, but he has uh, really stood up and as vice-captain now, really proud to have him in that role. We've got a wonderful coaching team at the football club uh, that are really passionate and um, as excited as me about what we're trying to achieve this year with our group and, and together as a coaching team. Um, it's, you know, we've all come together and we're all uh, just understanding how we work together. Um, so even that will take some time to gel, but every week we're learning more about how we're going about our job and and how we can do things really well. And I'm wrapped with the, uh, the way that we're all coming together. And our whole footy department is, is full of wonderful people that are really passionate and driven to help, the, uh, help put our best football team on the field week in, week out, led by Rob Kerr. Uh, we've got awesome people. Uh, again, um, really, it's about the people. And I love turning up at the footy club every day and walking into our department and looking at the attitude that everyone has there. Um, my aim and our aim this year is, is to create a brilliant environment and that environment um, is an elite environment, it, it has to be, uh, the, the game of AFL is, is a leading um, sporting environment in world sport and um, we want to be the elite and the best of the best so uh, 
we have to keep looking for ways to improve and challenge ourselves. And that's the environment the players have asked for and that's, that's the environment we've got to make sure we provide for them. We're going to make sure that it's a brilliant environment in that it's enjoyable. Uh, TD, touched on it, have fun. You know, we've got to have fun. We all have tough jobs. All our jobs challenge us at times. Um, our personal environment challenges us all at times. And uh, we've got to make sure we're focused on having some fun as we really work hard and stay focused through those tough times. Um, that makes the success that comes later even more fun, even more enjoyable. But it is critical that uh, these players still come to the club and look forward to coming to the footy club to, to get better and to do the hard work that they have to do to continually improve. And they'll do that with a... Uh, they'll get more out of that if they do it with a spring in their step because I know they're coming to a, a good, fun environment. Um, and, you know, that video, that's great. I like a bit of fun, but they're, they're going to get punished for that. But that's bad luck. I like to see a few laughs, but there's always a price. We're going to create a brilliant environment in that the players will learn. They will learn um, about uh, how to deal with adversity. And we're working through that now. They'll learn how to deal with a, a pre-season that hasn't... Uh, delivered exactly what we wanted to, it to deliver, but that it won't stop at us achieving what we want to achieve throughout the year. We've got to make sure that the players are understanding that through really tough times, you can learn more than ever with how you deal with it and what you can get out of it. And we've got an opportunity this year to do things that other clubs don't, and that is to try new things and to experiment a little bit and to, uh, to really explore the boundaries of, of what's available in our, in our sporting industry um, in, in uh, developing our squad, in developing our players in the way they believe in themselves, in uh, their understanding of the AFL elite environment and how hard they have to work. Um, other clubs uh, will be focused just on doing what they've always done because they're... Uh, really believe that they're in that position that they can't take risks in the way they play the game. They can't take risks in the way they maybe travel to an interstate game. We can really explore and try some new things and, and learn from that. Um, the players will learn about uh, opportunity. They will learn about uh, empathy. Um, and the other thing they've got to learn is that uh, feeling sorry for yourself doesn't uh, help you get to where you want to get to. And uh, our job as coaches at, within the football club is to help the players learn through all the different experiences that we're going to go through together this year. That uh, environment, my aim is that it will be driven by the players. They have asked for it. Um, they've told each other that that's what they want. Um, so I will help lead the way, but they will drive the environment that they've asked for. So that's our aim, to develop a culture that is going to create premiership opportunities for the Essendon Football Club as quickly as we can. Uh, no one has a crystal ball to predict how quickly it can, uh, it can turn around, but I've been at clubs where uh, I've seen it turn around extremely quickly. Staying focused and believing in the work that you're doing and, and uh, believing in the pathway that you've set. So that's our job. Uh, and once we get to that position where we're ready to challenge for our next premiership, it will be a sustainable challenge. It won't be just one season and we hope. It will know that we're coming back again year after year to be one of the uh, strongest and elite teams in the competition. That doesn't mean there's not going to be some frustration and disappointment throughout this year. Um, I've got no doubt. I was, I was frustrated and disappointed on Sunday in our NAB Challenge game over in Perth. But I was also uh, still really positive about where we're heading and what we're going to try and achieve this year really positive with what we learned out of that game. Positive that we played a team that played off in the grand final last year, had pretty much their best side in their first game for the year at their home ground. And uh, they taught us a lot about where we're at and where we can improve. Without that opportunity, maybe we wouldn't have uh, put in the extra time and the extra work to know exactly what uh, the areas are that we're falling away in. So. What I've, one of the things I've learned over time is uh, in, in tough times, um, they are potentially the greatest learning environments. Um, we've got to make sure that it's not just potential that we can learn and become better in this year, but uh, that we do make sure that we grab every opportunity and, and uh, get better from those opportunities. Sometimes you've got to be prepared to give something up 
to, uh, to go forward and become even stronger and greater. Um, not all through our choice. We've had to give up a lot this year, but we're going to make sure we use it to, to become that great team. So 2016 is an exciting year for us. It's going to be a really positive year. It will have its challenges, uh, but it will have its triumphs for us as well. Some of those triumphs will come this year. Um, I'm going to make sure a lot of them come for many years onward. So thanks for your support. Uh, bring on 2016 and uh, let's give a great welcome to our squad for 2016 as well.